Dear students, good morning, dear students. Welcome to our biology program. Today we are continuing the first session or the last session that talked about the immune system in human. Uh, now we are going to describe what are the other types of uh, immunity inside the human body and how can the body overcome any diseases enter the body. Uh, now we are going to describe the immune system and complete this session. Their types and names depend on the tissue where they exist. What is the function of uh, this uh, type of uh, macrophage? They are ready to engulf any foreign macrophages particle present close to it, as well as the microorganism by phagocytosis where they pick up the microbes or foreign pods or synthesis somatic cells as they of the synthesis red blood cell and they disintegrate them to their component to be disposed by the body. Okay, what is the mobile macrophage? The mobile macrophage engulf the foreign particle by phagocytosis. Also carry the information which are collected about the microbes and the foreign particle and offer them to a specialized immune cells that found. Uh, this immune system or this uh, uh, cells found in the lymphatic nodes which are scattered in different body parts and also prepare the suitable defense mechanism such as the antibodies and the specific types of killer cells that deal with these microbes. What is the assisting chemical substance? Assisting chemical substance, they are chemical substances that found inside the body, help the body to overcome any microbes enter. This chemical body or chemical substance is secreted by the human body from the immune system. Like the chemokinase and the stratokinase, this substance found to uh, kill any foreign body, also to help or increase the immunity of the human body. Uh, if there is a shortage in the secretion of the chemokinase or simokinase, uh, uh, what happened? This is led to the deficiency in the immune system or there is a drop in the uh, secretion of the bone marrow or the uh, formation of the white blood cell. So we must take care from the uh, percentage of chemokinase or uh, thermokinase that is found inside the human body. What is the chemokinase? The function recreate or guide or migration of the large circulating phagocytoses, which are found in blood by large number towards the site of existence of microbes or foreign particles to reduce their function or reduce their reproduction and the spreading. What is the interleukinase? Interleukinase, the functions of this mediate the communication among the different immune cells, mediate the communication between the immune system and the different body cells, help the immune system to perform its defense function, help them to perform its defense function. What is the complement? The complement, they are group of different types of proteins and enzymes. Uh, this function destroys the microbes that present in the blood. After their conjunction with the antibody, means they join with the antibody through lysing the membrane. Lysing means killing the membrane of antigen that found on the surface of microbes. And this is make dissolve of the membrane or the contents of the membrane make it them easily engulfed by phagocytes. In this case, uh, the antibody or the make lysing of membrane means make the membrane easy to penetrate 
okay, make the membrane easy to penetrate. What is the interferons? Interferons is a chemical substance that different types of protein produced and secreted by infected tissue cells with viruses and they are not specific for certain virus. This interferon help in uh, healing the hepatitis virus C. Hepatitis virus C and the infected, the person who infected with this hepatitis virus C can take the interferon the chemical substance which make a uh, uh, increasing the secretion of infected or secretion the substances that killing the infected tissue and this help in healing the hepatitis virus C. What is the function? Prevent the reproduction and the spreading of the virus in the body where they bind to the healthy cells neighboring to the infected cells and induced them to produce a specific type of enzyme that inhibit the action of replication of uh, enzymes of the virus. Okay. Also, the function of uh, interferons prevent the or stopping the virus for reproduction by uh, binding with the neighboring cell or the cell beside the infected cell and induce this cell to produce enzymes that stop the action of the virus enzyme. What are the types? There are five types which are Ig. GM, IgA, IgG, IgE, IgD. These types of viruses or these types that can attack the microbe, these disulfide bond joining the chain and this is the types of antibodies. This is the structure of antibody. If you look at the structure of the antibody, it consists of disulfide bond this is disulfide bond, okay. Also, there is antigen binding site, antigen binding site suitable for the bind any microbes. Light chain, this light chain to attack the microbes and they catch it to prevent their reproduction. There is a hygiene region, complement binding site, okay. Also, there is a heavy chain, this heavy chain, which carries the disulfide bones and also light chain. There are a constant regions and variable regions according to the structure of the antibody. This is structure of antibody or the structure of uh, disulfide bone, antigen binding site, light chain, hygiene region, complement binding chain. What is the antibody mechanism? Number one, the antibody may lead to neutralization for the viruses, attack the virus and make neutralize with it to prevent the spreading of the virus inside the human. May lead to agglutination, means agglutination like clotting. Clotting means clamping the viruses or prevent its spreading also. Precipitations when this uh, mechanism of the virus undergo to killing the virus, lysis means uh, change it into very small particles can be uh, engulfed by lysosomes. Antitoxins, antitoxins means produced a, a substance that prevent the toxicity of the antibodies. So antibodies mechanism by uh, or happy by the five methods may be neutralization, may be agglutination, precipitation, lysis or antitoxins. Not they all together, no, each one uh, individually. Number one, what is the neutralization? Neutralization from the most important function of antibody in resisting the viruses means the stopping or prevent the virus for uh, neutralization and are neutralizing these viruses and stopping their activity by the antibodies bind to the other or the outer coat of viruses. 
This binding will prevent the virus from adhering to the membrane of the host cell and spreading or passing to inside the them. What is the neutralization? Neutralization is the method by which the viruses can or stopping uh, the, uh, the T or the lymphocytes can stop the action of the virus by uh, neutralization, which prevented the virus for invasion the host cell. Uh, so, the, so the cells will be free from the virus and uh, undergo its activity without the producing of uh, the virus. If the viruses succeed in penetrating the host cell membrane, the antibody will prevent okay, the nucleic acid genetic material of the viruses from coming out from the infected cells and replicating inside the host cell by keeping their coat intact or sealed. Intact means cohesive uh, uh, beside each other. What is the agglutination? Agglutination or clumping some antibodies such as IgM. The IgM is the type of antibody have many antigen binding sites which enable each of them to bind with more than one microbes or one antigen means make agglutination with more than antigen this agglutination leading to clumping of microbes on the same antibody this makes them weaker make the microbe become weaker and liable to be engulfed by the by the phagocytes uh, susceptible the microbes to be easy to catch okay or to remove the microbes easy uh, according to it becomes uh, weaker and engulfed by phagocytes this is the bacterium okay or any uh, type of microbes enter the body bacterium or viruses when igm that found in the blood okay white blood cells attack or become uh, uh, identified for this bacterium what happened? It makes agglutination or clumping or uh, glotting of this microbe. Also the precipitation. What is the precipitation? Precipitation often happens in the soluble antigen where binding between the antibody with this antigen. Complexes in the form of a precipitate of the antigen. This led to formation of substance, this substance insoluble and in, is not dissolved in water. This insoluble or antigen or antibody, uh, this antibody or insoluble cannot be uh, moved with the blood. So engulfed or make engulfing by the phagocytes that is stimulation of uh, phagocytosis or by lysosomes. What is the lysis? Lysis means binding between antibody and antigen. And this is activate specific protein and enzymes. This is called complements. Complements is a type. This type or complement lies the coat of antigen. Lysis means make the coat of antigen dissolve and uh, the content of this uh, engulfed by phagocytes not suitable for uh, complete its life. What is the antitoxins? Antitoxins or antibodies can bind to the toxins forming complexes of antibodies and the toxins. These complexes that form from the binding between antibody with toxins activate. Number one, the complements to react, activate the complement, the, uh, the substance that uh, found in the blood, named by complement, to react with toxins in a chain reaction, which led to final to their detoxification, means uh, prevent the toxic substance of the phagocytes or toxic substance of the viruses uh, which produce inside the blood to engulf it by the phagocyte, engulf it by phagocytes. What is this figure show? 
This figure shows the part of toxin substance that secreted by the uh, viruses, this toxic substance, and this toxic substance, uh, the cell come to destroy by absorbing or by the action of the toxins, okay, uh, takes this by identifying the antibody natural, then the cell takes these natural anti antibodies to take the toxin outside the cell to prevent or uh, stopping detoxification or make detoxification, make detoxification. The immune system mechanism in man. First natural non-specific or innate immunity Natural, non-specific or innate, innate immunity, it is a group of defense mechanisms that protect the body and characterized by a rapid and effective response, okay, of the human to resist and fight, destroy microbes. Means when there is any microbe enter, when any microbe enter the human body, how can the human body make mechanism? Let to destroy these microbes by the first natural immunity or the innate immunity. This innate means not a specific, non-specific immunity. And this is found like the epidermis, like the skin, okay? The skin of the human can uh, make an invasion or the first barrier for the immune system. Uh, also, the human can penetrate, if the virus penetrates the human body, what are happen? If you move with the blood, the white blood cell uh, come by its uh, uh, number or largest number, like the lymphocytes, the phagocytes, magophytes, magophytes, all of these cells can penetrate the viruses by make a detoxification or lysis or neutralization or precipitation. These are the many, less, many methods by which the human can attack the virus and killing it by easier way, okay? Now, also, how can the microbes or the types of microbes enter? The first line of defense, okay, physical or natural barrier in the body, such as the skin, mucus, sweat, sweat, sweat al -ara hydrochloric acid that's found in the stomach, okay? Also, this prevent the pathogen from entering the body. The skin is uh, characterized by tough horny layer, okay? On its surface, which act as barrier that is difficult to be penetrated or passed through it. The sweat is secreted by a group of a sweat gland on the skin surface that can kill most of the microbes because of its salinity. Salinity means increase the salt. What is the ears waxes? Ear wax, ears wax, or cerumen. Cerumen or ears wax substance secreted by the ear uh, and it can kill microbes that enter the ears. Kill the microbes that enter the, the ears and protect the ears from infection by microbes. What is the tears? Tears fluid that protect the eye from microbes because they contain antimicrobial substance, okay? And also inside the eye, inside the two eyes, there are type of gland known as lacrimal gland. This lacrimal gland produces the tears. These tears contain chemical substance which make the eye moist and uh, killing any microbes that they can invade the eye. Okay? Also, lysis is the microbes. Lysis is the microbes means killing the microbes by uh, changing it into small particles. Mucus and this mucus found in the respiratory tract also found in the nose. Uh, the mucus is a viscous substance or fluid that lie in the walls of the respiratory found in the trachea, okay, uh, which microbes or killing any microbes and the foreign body can penetrate 
the air or adhering the air. This mucus, after that, after trapping the microbes and foreign body, expel outside the body by the action of breathing cilia lining the trachea. Uh, this is named by sputum. Sputum means you can expel outside the uh, foreign body with mucus. Okay, we help in this uh, cilia. What is the saliva? Saliva fluid found inside the mouth and this fluid uh, secreted by the salivary gland. You know that is inside the, our mouth there is a gland, this gland, there are three pairs of gland. Uh, one gland uh, under the lower jaw, one under the tongue and the uh, two or pair of gland in front of the ear. Uh, these three pairs of gland named by the salivary gland. Salivary gland produces the saliva which is fluid, make a killing for any microbes enter with the engulfing the food or with the air. Uh, saliva make the mouth liquid or uh, contain also uh, enzyme known as the thialine enzyme which changes the starch into amylase or which changes the starch by the action of the amylase into maltose sugar. Uh, also killing any microbes that enter the mouth. Okay, saliva found inside the mouth, only uh, mucus found inside the uh, nose and the respiratory tract. Uh, tears found inside the eye, skin is the first uh, barrier. Okay, saliva kill microbes by the action of the enzymes. What is the acidic gastric juice? Acidic gastric juice found in the stomach by the help of hydrochloric acid which make or kill any microbes entering with the food. Also when you eat some types of food contain bacteria but this bacteria in a small amount gastric juice can kill the bacteria. Second line defense this system acts if the pathogen succeed in penetrating the first line. If the microbes can penetrate the first line of defense and invaded by the body tissue through slashes in the skin, for example, okay, for example, the internal defense system in which non-specific mechanisms that surround. When microbes enter, what happens? Make a severe inflammation, severe inflammation like fever, like uh, uh, histamine, okay? Okay, what is the inflammatory response? It is non-specific, non-specific defense mechanism around the area of injury as a result of damage of tissue caused by the injured or an infection. At the end of the session, I hope you enjoy our lesson today. Uh, we talked about the immunity and also we talked about the uh, first and the second uh, barrier inside the human body, how to defend the microbes by the skin and the tears, eyes, uh, mucus, and also the role of the white blood cell and the lymphocyte to escape from the invasion of microbes. Thank you for your watching. Uh, see you again. Goodbye.